lifestyle medicine is the use of lifestyle interventions directed at the treatment, management, and prevention of disease. Hey folks, Dr. Keel here, and I want to briefly talk about the relationship between diet and acne. There are a lot of myths circulating about how certain foods can cause or worsen acne, and I want to take a few minutes to talk about the evidence currently available and to dispel some of those myths. Before I do that, here are the things we know that play a significant role in causing acne. Hormones, especially testosterone and other androgens, which both men and women get. Infectious bacteria that live in the pores on our face. Inflammation caused by clogged pores. And pore exfoliation, or the buildup of dead skin on our face. And here's what we do know about food. High glycemic index foods can worsen acne. The glycemic index is an advanced metric to quantify the degree to which a certain food product will affect your blood sugar. I've made a video explaining this in detail and I would encourage you to check it out. However, it essentially describes how much a given food increases your blood sugar after ingestion. For example, a baked potato has a glycemic index of 85, while an equivalent serving of spaghetti has a glycemic index of 42. So the baked potato will raise your blood sugar twice as much as the spaghetti will. So even though there are more carbohydrates in spaghetti, it doesn't drive your blood sugar up as high, and the significance of that is another conversation for another day. There are three studies referenced by the American Academy of Dermatology that look at glycemic index and acne symptoms. The best study is out of Australia, and it shows that young adult males who followed a strict low glycemic load had significant improvement in their acne severity. And the glycemic load is just a modified version of the glycemic index. There's also evidence in women with polycystic ovarian disease who suffer from acne that eating a low-carb diet can improve your acne symptoms. And there's also a survey study which I won't dive into. So the best evidence relating food and acne is its relationship to high glycemic load foods and worsening acne severity. Expert advice from the American Academy of Dermatology is that eating low glycemic index foods may improve your acne symptoms. The other thing is dairy products show a weak association with acne. Physicians have theorized for decades that there was a relationship between dairy consumption and acne, however there has been a lack of data to support the idea. Nonetheless, the idea has persisted and there are several studies that find a weekly positive association. Unfortunately, all three are survey studies. They'll ask a group or population of people to recall their dietary intake, including dairy, and look for a positive association with acne severity. These types of studies are certainly suggestive of a relationship, but are limited both by their design and are far from conclusive. It's not clear how dairy products like milk may worsen acne, but it's possible that growth hormones and other growth factors may play a role. Expert advice is that if an individual does notice that milk and dairy products are worsening their symptoms, it is reasonable to limit their intake. It should be noted that these foods are high in both calcium and vitamin D, and if you do choose to limit your dairy intake, you should be supplementing both of them. Interestingly, there does appear to be a relationship between the incidence of acne and whether or not you eat a Western diet, which would be an American-type diet, when compared to individuals eating a non-Western diet. A 2010 review of the evidence sought to identify some trends in acne and diet and reviewed approximately 70 papers on the subject. The link to the study is in the discussion section. Essentially, non-Western diets tend to have little or no processed food, refined sugars, and oils or excessive dairy. Sound like high glycemic index foods to anyone else? Instead, they are high in fresh fruits, vegetables, meats, and seafoods. It also appears that you can switch from a non-Western diet to a Western diet and your acne will worsen. Again, unfortunately, these questions are very complicated and there needs to be some large-scale randomized clinical trials to evaluate this multifactorial nutritional question. And then are there any other causes or relationships? There was another 2010 study published which sought to review the evidence linking acne and diet. In addition to what we've already discussed, they also note that their other food content may play a role in acne, including omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, zinc, vitamin A, and dietary fiber. It's not clear whether those may help or hinder acne symptoms. Again, much more research is needed, and there is a significant lack of randomized clinical trials. So in conclusion, we can make a few statements. The first is that dietary changes alone should not replace a discussion with your doctor about how to best manage your acne. High glycemic index foods can make acne worse, and it's reasonably appropriate to switch to a low glycemic index diet if you think it will help. There's limited evidence linking dairy products to acne severity, and if you do limit your dairy intake, make sure to supplement calcium and vitamin D. Western diets appear to have a generalized association with the incidence of acne. Much more research is needed to evaluate these relationships. Make sure to watch out for any foods that may trigger your acne, and consider keeping a food diary and make sure to bring it to your doctor's visit. Good luck.